You have to negotiate with the dear dean, dean student. Well, uh, the deans are the same. Yeah, you, are <laughs> you are being given options. You do not want to use. Please do not give excuses. Besides your spirit of Nikto Bhushan, sir, but you have gone as some of our friends have addressed. Unfortunately, the spirit is not being implemented. And particularly like this, 75% attendance of the student who is going to lead and he definitely has to be social. And uh, the false case is also like this one has raised. Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is Bulan Singh and I'm from Student Organization of India. So there are two problems that we are facing in Punjab University elections. First of all, the idea about the people, the students who are, who are criminally charged or have a criminal history, they should not be allowed in the elections. That's very good. Uh, that's a very nice recommendation. But the, the way it's being misused is a proper student, uh, a, a guy who has, who challenges authority and is actually leading the masses, is obviously not somebody who's liked by the rival parties and of course definitely not by the administration and he challenges the misuse of power by the administration and especially by the police. And a person who challenges such things is obviously, I mean, you know what happens is that before, I mean, about a week before the elections, he's falsely uh, uh, accused of, uh, you know, crimes that he hasn't even committed. And I have been a first-hand victim about this. I have uh, a case of attempt to murder running for the past five years, and while it was registered against me, I was attending a lecture. And my teacher, I mean, she did not even, uh, you know, did not give it in written in the court because, of course, she was afraid of going to the court about it. And the way it is being misused, it, it's not happened with me, it has ha happened with my friend uh, Sunny and so many others. And the second thing is that the whole idea of elections is to promote democracy and to promote and to have most, more and more students to come up and vote for their, uh, for their leaders. The election date is such, it's either on a Friday or probably on a Thursday when a Friday is declared a holiday. And a normal neutral student who has, who's not active in the politics takes that, takes that weekend as a long weekend and they all go back home or probably on a vacation or something. And the maximum voting percentage that Punjab University has ever had is 37%. And usually it barely crosses 30%. And the result of that is that a true leaders of the university are not able to represent the masses. And the third thing that the, Mr. Amit, uh, my friend who just pointed out, an open house debate between student leaders. I mean, there was a very good tradition in the Punjab University which has, uh, which is not being followed for the past two years. I mean, things like this, leaders should have public debates so that a normal neutral student is able to see that the, what their leaders have to follow, uh, what, what their leaders have to offer. So what are your recommendations on the election days and the misuse and, to, uh, and for the students in the police inquiries against the false cases being registered, the election day and the open house debates. So I would like to know your opinion on all these things. Uh, you know, it's, all, it's, it's college, it's college to college, it's a, it's a particular uh, state of affairs in a particular college, I suppose it doesn't. You can't, you can't say that it applies across the board. And uh, if there are false cases like that, obviously the heads of the institutions uh, should show enough responsibility and courage to, um, to, solve, to solve out these problems. Nobody else can do it. One last question, please. First of all, I would like to thank you for your growth, sir. I would like to keep a good interaction. And the link to the recommendation is mostly implemented by 75%. I mean, it's 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 implemented by 75%. रियल टाइम साबित हो रही है लेकिन कुछ बातें मैं कहना चाहूँगा सर जैसे एक उसमें लिखा है कि पांच हजार से ज़्यादा जो भी खर्चा है या उसमें बिल्कुल उसका कैंसर कर दिया गया लेकिन रियल टाइम ऐसा नहीं हो रहा है बिल्कुल आप लोग भी सब लोग देख रहे हैं मतलब टेंट लगाने हमें एक टेंट लगाने तो टेंट के लिए कितने पैसे लगते हैं सब लोग झूठी फिर पुलिस वाले हमारे पास आते हैं आप पूरा खर्चा दिए हम झूठ बोल मतलब जो भी है सारे पार्टी झूठ देते हैं बीस लाख लगा बीस लाख जबकि मिनिमम पांच लाख दस लाख बीस लाख इसमें कहना चाहूँगा सर जो आपने दे दी पांच हजार तक मिनिमम होना चाहिए तो आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे According to the recommendations, 
You should initially be having only indirect elections, not direct elections. Please understand that. And it's only when you can do things properly in indirect elections that you can graduate upwards to direct elections, according to the recommendations. Here you have the freedom of carrying on with your direct elections. So if you're going to do direct elections with so many uh, students, you're, you're likely to exceed that 5,000 rupee limit. So you have to learn your discipline first before you can, you can run your elections. And uh, don't tell me the vice chancellor or the head of a college is, is responsible. I mean, you, you are the students, you are going to run your elections. You have to run your elections with discipline and responsibility. It, the responsibility is mostly with you because you are the people of the future.